how can a trust benefit my family? Yes, that is a key thing that you need to understand. How can you forming a trust benefit your family? On part one, we spoke about the benefits that comes with a trust as a result of tax savings that can come, issues like estate duty being saved. And also we look at how you can actually take advantage of conjugate pie principle of course, that is being presented by using trust and saving taxes as a result. We also looked into issues of how those who cannot look after themselves can actually be assisted by having a trust. People like minors, children, those who are not able to administer assets on their behalf. Things like someone who can be mentally handicapped or physically handicapped. Such scenarios do happen. We also looked at into how executors fees will not apply to those assets that are sitting in a trust therefore saving on things like 3.5 percent which is quite a lot of money uh if you were to save for for that imagine a 3.5 percent on a asset portfolio that worth about 50 million 100 million that can be a quite a lot now but what other things can we consider as benefits of having a trust now think of situation where a flexibility trusts are flexible are flexible in a sense that we all know legal environment changes frequently right we all know tax environment changes so frequently financial sector systems changes frequently therefore it might be required that as trustees we need to amend the trust to soothe the environment so that families can forever be taken care of of course also family dynamics and needs changes therefore trust must soothe those families because its intention is to look after those families right so we need to accommodate the changes that comes with family dynamics okay so now another thing is that trust can actually be used as a succession planning tool you will be sitting here and say listen i want to create this wealth but equally so i want my beneficiaries to have these values and 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 um principles uh, live with them for generations to generations how do i go about that you can actually factor those into trusted and trustless instrument therefore because the trustees have got a fiduciary duty to adhere to the trusted and of course also other applicable laws things like trust property control act therefore they will ensure that they comply with such values and, and principles that you have actually incorporated into the trust and then equally so by ensuring that uh, the beneficiaries adhere also a benefits from the trust you can actually save and protect them against any other issues let's say a, a beneficiary become insolvent or divorce for that matter or for that matter uh, the beneficiaries is not financially true and you see you can actually protect them uh, the beneficiary against even themselves so those are some of the things that comes as a, as a result of succession tool so overall these are some of the benefits guys that we consider that can come um, um, with you having a trust. So, but overall, there are those other benefits that you can, some people may be applicable, customized to them. So that's why it's so important to consider consultation ourselves, a duet thorough estate planning consultation and consider whether a trust is suitable or not for you and your circumstances, your dynamics, are going to be matter most i mean we've got scenarios where people have got shares in their personal names and they want to transfer them we've got situations where people have got properties in their name they want to transfer them or for that matter you're a divorcee and now you have considered to get married but you've got children from previous marriages you might want to consider that to say can i reinvent this wealth for these kids so that when i start new um, uh, family then the new family also will have its own house and family and wealth and present for them so these are some of the consideration that you might want to consider you might want to consider a situation where what happens if those beneficiaries also once you get married you see these are the dynamics when you start to think of succession planning and you want to factor them in they matter a lot so maybe think about that and then consider if you want to do a consultation with us you're more than welcome to use the details that are on my profile to reach out to us and then we'll take you through the planning and to ensure that your family wealth is actually preserved which is primary reasons on why trusts are actually used is to preserve this family wealth if you have family wealth assets properties that you want to protect let us know and then we can assist you good luck